Um, my name is Pierre Bojo. Um, I'm entering my third year at McGill University, uh, doing my honors in urban systems in the Department of Geography. Uh, I've been doing undergraduate research for a year and a half now under the supervision of Dr. Renee Sieber and Dr. Peter Johnson. Uh, my research is under the sphere of the GeoWeb. Uh, for those who don't know, it's uh, short for Geospatial Web, uh, where basically all our information online is now being uh, tied to their geographic location. So it really creates interesting opportunity in terms of mapping information, databases. Um, so that's, in short, is what the GeoWeb is. So using interfaces such as Google Maps or um, Bing Maps or Open Layers, we can now take these databases and um, showcase information geographically, um, which then we can make some pretty cool mashups of how data looks and better communicate it to the public. Um, what's cool with these applications is they're on online, so it's very easy to share information um, in this new Web 2.0 kind of way, where information is no longer just provided to people. People can now give back, um, have a two-way discourse between the experts and the population. So the information is being built up from the grassroots level, and the experts now have the chance to either help um, inform the population, but also be informed by them. So it creates some really good opportunities. Um, so our research is based in Acton, which is um, a municipality an, an hour east of Montreal, where we're using these types of technologies and ways of doing things uh, to create an application where uh, the municipality is asking for local businesses and enterprises to now go on to this application that we built and add points to where their enterprise or their local business is, um, provide the relevant information to then be showcased on a map, um, which will be used for uh, showcasing what the municipality has to offer. Um, ultimately, they want to attract foreign investment um, to the region. They have a lot of uh, opportunity in terms of natural resources and a lot of kind of businesses that they think need investment, basically. So they're using this tool as a way to communicate that to the to the big, bold uh, kind of new companies out there who are using information technology. Um, on a big scale. So. The biggest challenge I think we have is the fact that there are very few examples of this type of technology being used in government, at least in the province of Quebec. So for us to sit down with uh, multiple agencies, uh, ministries and you know, explain the technology to them and say you guys now have to change the way you do things um, and provide data freely and allow the public to now uh, become part of the way you guys make decisions, they're aware of the benefits but they're still quite reluctant to open up and make the, the changes quickly so it's hard for us to have a timeline for research when they are um, quite slow in making these shifts um, if not on the same note the fact that we're working with multiple government governmental agencies um, I think there's around eight different uh, ministries sitting at our round tables so they all have very different agendas so let's say the uh, Ministry of Public Security are making sure that the data that we provide or data that we're gathering is all in the best interest for the public and that no one's getting harmed in a certain sense. Whereas next to him there might be the Ministry of uh, uh, Sustainable Development who's you know trying to see how this is going to help for the environment or how it's going to look in the long run and how it's going to affect you know populations and all that. So um, just making sure that everyone uh, has their say in the project, but at the same time can't be, you know, running things. Uh, lastly, another one of our challenges is the fact that these technologies are evolving very quickly. Uh, so, for example, if we're using a Google Maps interface, uh, version 2 or version 3, they have to, well, they are continuously up updating it to add new features, new kind of new little gadgets that people can use, but at the same time they often restructure the code for the development side. So for us to create a tool and give it to a municipality and say you can use this, um, it's, it can be very difficult if that technology evolves to a new version where we now have to go back to that municipality and say, okay, we have to update it. So if we're not always in the picture in terms of a, a, like an institution such as McGill that will help them maintain their, their application, then it's very hard in, to communicate um, the sustainability of the, such a project to the government. So they might, they often ask, 
you know, how will this work in the long run once you guys are outside of the picture, which is a very important question, and it's one that is kind of hard to answer because the technology is evolving so much. So the greatest opportunity I see with these technologies is the fact that the Internet is so big these days. Um, everyone is on it. Most people are on it, I should say, and uh, spending a lot more time on it. Uh, information is being uploaded to it at a rate that is incredible. So to have this information now increasingly being geotagged um, so that we can locate it, map it, and have a better understanding of things that are going on, um, it's truly amazing. And not only is it, like, a lot of people think that, okay, ge geography, geoweb is, you know, confined to the realm of geography, but when you think about it, we're all in a like, spatialized world, so everything that we do can be tied into geography. So GeoWeb is really amazing because it can tie into pretty much any field. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, crisis mapping, so emergency response, policemen, firemen. Uh, there's, uh, you know, environmental issues that you can tie into the geography. There's disease spread for people in medicine to understand how disease spread, how to better combat that in it. It's, it's just all over the place, so this kind of technology is really it's exciting to be part of. My honors research is under the same sphere of the GeoWeb and Web 2.0, but this time it tailors to what I'm very interested in, which is urban planning and urban design. So basically using the Google Earth API and interface, uh, which has uh, 3D digital Earth including uh, buildings in a lot of cities. We can now uh, provide planners and uh, designers with tools to uh, showcase their new development projects online. So whereas traditional town hall meetings would require people to come sit down and see pictures of a development, they'd have to come at a certain time um, and have to be there to actually understand what's going on. Using these tools, we can now move that online so people can visit and participate whenever they want. Um, designers can upload their 3D models onto this tool. Uh, people can play around with it, um, get a better idea of the surroundings, how it's going to impact um, the surroundings. And at the same time, um, add points, start conversations, debates, whatever, have the kind of common threads um, so that you really get the communication, which is really important to the planning process. My research is developing tools like that, but also making sure that um, the field is ready for such types of technology, so it's about sitting down with planners and seeing if they're interested in this kind of tool, um, and if so, how it can help the research, how it could hinder it, um, and just making sure that it works.